What's up guys? This is What's My Game. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe and like. It really helps me out. And uh, again, I appreciate everything, guys. We're playing Elder Scrolls today. I'm just going to jump right into it where I'm playing at right now. This is actually a really good place to farm. Um, you know, any of these, uh, I forget what they're called. They usually respawn about every 15 or 20 minutes. And, uh, oh, and especially if you have, well, it's not, <laughs> it's not a really good place to farm if you're by yourself because you'll get your ass kicked. I don't care how good you are. Uh, you know, unless you're maybe like Vet 16 or whatever, but uh, this is a really good place to farm because every 15 or 20 minutes they'll come back. This is my Khajiit or Khajiit Nightblade build. I've got about five or six characters because I have to have one in each alliance so that I can do gameplay for it. So I don't have anybody like super mega leveled up because I've got so many characters to do that with, but... I think this is probably one of my favorites. This night blade. I've got my backup, as you can see, the the staff, the healing staff. I just kind of like it because I can, if I'm in a group setting, you know, I can start healing everybody. And um, I haven't focused on like stamina or magicka. I've got a little bit, a couple of, of level up points into those, but most of them have gone into health. But this this uh, this switching over who's that? This switching over is uh, pretty cool. Once you get to level 15, so you got to be able to do that. Come on, where are you at? There he is, the storm, Atronach. <laughs> you know, I've never been a guy for pronunciation of all these different names, and I know. Atronox or Atronox have been around in, in uh, this game and in, in other games, honestly. I just don't care what how to pronounce them. I know some people are going to cut my head off for all these pronunciations, but I don't care. Flame Atronach. Is it Atronach or Atronox? Doesn't matter. We just got to wax them all, you know what I'm saying? I got asteroids flying around me. That wasn't for me. I wonder who did that. Is that supposed to like be a barrier or some shit? Oh, we were all like locked up for a second. <laughs> I couldn't move. Well, I couldn't hit him. Imagine if like other people's spells could hurt you. <laughs> like if you were in the middle of a, a fire spell and you were like caught in the blast, that would suck. That would make this game a lot more difficult. Let's grab this chest. Not that kind of chest. Ooh, I got two blue items. Now we're cooking with grease. And I got the traveling Demora Slayer, I guess it said. It's already gone. Do a little dance. Oh yeah. I'm cool. Oh, nobody else is dancing. Let's stop. Because... <laughs> I'm going to do some quests. That's what we need to do. We need to do some quests. Because what happened was... What happened was... I went to try and go get another quest. And it said I was full. So I haven't been I haven't been focusing on questing. So I can't even get a new quest. Even a main quest. So I need to do some of them. Uh, both of the... That hood's too high of a level. Um, I need to level up a little bit. And then I can use it. Oh, 33. I won't be able to use that one for a long time. We'll sell that blanker. Now, if you sell these to the guild trader, you'll make a lot more money. Unfortunately, my guild, which is one of the reasons I just created that guild meat video, my guild is, uh, we just lost our guild trader. And uh, we only have about 353 wow. members. And I have done nothing to try to help. So I can't, I can't blame, uh, I, I, can't, I can't blame them because I haven't tried to get new, new members or anything. But we lost our guild trader. And that's where you can sell to the general public, and it sells your shit a lot faster that way. So I might just sell it at the regular place. I'm not hurting for money too bad right now.
Stormhaven. You know, there's a lot of people that don't know what you're reading on the screen right now. Way shines, way, way shrines. You can travel between them and not use any money. I've seen dozens of people comment they didn't know that. So, in case you're watching, if you don't want to spend money, uh, then use a way shrine to go from way shrine to way sh <laughs> way shrine to way shrine. Damn, that's kind of hard to say. That way, uh, you can save yourself a little bit of coin. The rapid movement, that's what I wanted to show you. The, the rapid movement skill that you get is really awesome. And I've had it for a little while, but it's worthwhile to mention that just it, once you get to level 10 and you go able to go to Cyrodiil, Cyrodiil, then do that because then you can start PvP. And if even if you just kind of, I'm not really sure all of what in what you have to do, but very quickly you'll level up to level two and you'll be able to unlock that skill. And this skill, as you can see, you can haul ass with it, and uh, it gives you a 40% boost in in uh, in speed, um, and uh, it's pretty awesome. And you can just keep casting it. It uses a lot of stamina though when you cast it, but if you're on your horse, it doesn't use your horse's stamina, and so. Um, What's cool is that if, if you, as long as you keep sprinting with your horse, then he'll keep sprinting. Like even if he runs out of stamina, stamina. I don't know if it's a, a glitch or whatnot, uh, but if you keep running with your horse and you make sure you're you're still sprinting, it won't stop. And then as soon as your your uh, your spell runs out, then he'll he'll slow back down. But that's just a quick tip. Just if you're sprinting with your horse, even if your stamina runs out, just keep holding on the button because. It'll just keep going. You probably already realized that by now, but there's a, I believe there's a quest over here uh, that I need to complete. I'm supposed to go over here somewhere and find the guard captain. And this is what uh, one of them. I think this will be the a nice quick one because I think it's halfway done already. I think. Yeah, buddy. You know, I get I get in weird things about looting because sometimes I just skip all the shit. But I've been doing some crafting and provisioning a little bit more, uh, a, a very little bit more, on some other characters, and so I've realized obviously the the need, and I guess I've always known this, but the need for all these items, and it's a good idea to go ahead and invest in a bank uh, in your bank space. And that way you'll be able to store more items, provisionings, and enchanting items. And you can recall those whenever you're someplace. So even just having it in the bank doesn't matter. It's kind of like an extension of your inventory once you go to like an enchanting table or, or something. So it's definitely worthwhile. How did I find the guard? I don't see nobody. What the hell? <laughs> That's surely not the guard. Uh, what? The? There's a guy laying on the ground. Maybe he's just dead. I don't know. All these little bannikins. There's a portal. Oh yeah. Dramora Knival. Knival. Kinval. I love the siphon. I've got it. Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out of magic. Uh, I love the siphon ability. I, you know, it's uh, where's this captain at? What the frick is going on? Oh, I can put out the water. Put out the water. I can put out the fire with the water. Oh, there he is. Oh, you know what it was? It does that sometimes where you're playing the other dude's quest and helping him kill it, but it won't actually let you set up yours until he's done. That w that's what happened. It won't let you start your quest until that one's over. What if there was like a hundred people in line here? So I gotta, I gotta do this all over again. Yeah, I highly recommend the cipher. Uh, I've got it. Uh, I can't remember the name of it. I should probably look, but I'm in the middle of this fight. But it allows you to uh, to steal. It's part of the siphoning abilities. And uh, it's the square one that I'm hitting right now. And it allows you to steal 
Uh, it gives you, it, it does pretty good damage, obviously, as it levels up, but also it steals life force, or basically heals you 25% of every dam all the damage you do. So if you do 1,000 damage, you're going to get 250 out of it. So it's really cool. So I really like that, uh, because all those skills that do that, and there's only a few, but to be able to inflict decent damage and um, heal you at the same time. Oh, also, it doesn't take a lot of magicka. It's, it's a pretty pretty low number. So it's just an all-around good good spell to have or skill to have. All right, so now i got to go back to the village so I can talk to his ass. Call my trusty steed. I mean, you could fast travel, and, you know, I, I tend to do that. If, if I'm just being really impatient, I'm going to grab this little violet thing here. But um, I tend to just fa fast travel, especially I have another character that that I um, that I have even more money with. It's like thirty grand, and I just tend to fast travel because I have it, I have the money, and it's so much faster, you know. Obviously, hence the, hence the word. But it does cost you coin, and if you're struggling with that, then you know, obviously, just run there or ride there. And that's another reason to go to PvP and get this skill, so that you can uh, you know you can make yourself so much faster. The one I was talking about earlier. If you haven't already realized by now, guys, I have the world's most terrible memory. So, <laughs> I can't... I don't know what it is, but I just can't recall certain things. And I'm actually need to, I'm actually going to go see a doctor about it. Because it's it's really bad. <laughs> a little yeah, personal information. Killed them all. Oh, that's a, I, th I think that's going to be good. I need some new uh, shoulder pads, whatever the hell they call them. I think the ones I have right now suck balls. Do I have to do this other one? Let's see what I got. Oh, they weren't too bad. Oh, these are great, though. I'm rocking the medium armor so I can get those bonuses. Uh, the the Nightblade um, run. You can wear any armor you want, but you get uh, bonuses based on my level up, and I've put their passive abilities and uh, I've got a pretty good bonus right now because I'm wearing uh, medium armor. That being said, I'm going to throw these scales on of the dragon because um, they're so much higher and it's got a pretty good enchantment. But if you go down here to um, if you go here to uh, uh, medium armor, you can see what I'm talking about because. You know, I have a 28 bonus for stamina recovery. That's pretty significant. And there's a 28 bonus for improved sneak. Just because I'm wearing the armor. The medium armor. And every class is going to is gonna give you benefits to light and to heavy armor. I'm kind of... The light armor kind of sucks because I know you get buffs for it. But shit, they're just... It doesn't offer much protection at all. So you really have to stand back. At least the medium. You know, you can't really be a tank. But at least it gives you a lot more protection than the light does, you know. I don't know why they decided to just do give everything one weight. Like, you know, in the sky, I think it was Skyrim. Uh, maybe it was uh, Oblivion before that. But, you know, I'm going to eat this and see what it does. I usually eat my first material and see what the first buff is. But anyway, I think it was, I think it was Skyrim. Might have been Oblivion where, you know, you, um, it, the light armor weighed less and the heavy armor weighed more. So there was a benefit to wearing light armor simply because you know you could carry more you could carry other shit and this game doesn't do that so the only advantage to light medium armor and heavy armor is the buff that you get and so if you're mixing and matching you're not getting any benefits to wearing the armor that your character benefits most from so just keep that in mind um you know you know i i do recommend mixing and matching when you're leveling because you know you can level up those skills which will of course make your overall level go up faster but if you're just if you're just playing a game or if you're a main quest and you want the most protection possible um, you need to really think about heavy armor versus a medium or light and what buffs you're getting and really weigh the pros and cons and if you do have buffs and they're awesome then you need to make sure you wear as many pieces as possible of it so you can maximize that buff you know I'm going to just go through here and grab all this stuff because I'm due for some bookshelf points. I probably should just head to a mage's guild, but I'm going to continue questing 
and that's what I'm gonna do on part two of this video. I'm gonna just continue questing, and uh, there, I need to knock out a bunch of these and and uh, just keep playing because, like I said, my my queue's full of quests. So uh, that's what I'll do. So I'm just gonna leave part one here uh, around this time, and uh, I'll hit part two next. Please stick around, guys. I I just uh, I think I'll do like four of these, so you'll have a, a good solid hour of gameplay. So um, thanks, guys, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Please subscribe and like. Thank you so much. Have a great day. This is What's My Game. See ya!